Hey guys, time for Tackle Tip Tuesday. I was sitting over at the table, um, getting ready to pack my stuff for the New York swing and got to think about burning the spinner bait, trailer hooks, buzz baits, that kind of stuff, and thought of a good kind of a tackle tip for some of you guys. Um, there is one bait out there that I always use a trailer hook on, that's a buzz bait. Um, I use it a lot on a spinner bait whenever I'm burning it for smallmouth. But the, you know, there's it's something very simple that I think makes a little bit of difference. Um, I changed the trailer hook, meaning angles. You know, there's some days that I may be fishing over deep water and I'll put that trailer hook down thinking that they're gonna blow up. Most of the time though, it's shallow water. And a lot of the trailer hooks, they're gonna have plastic that you put over the eye. Um, I've seen a lot of guys do that. And what that does is it restricts the movement of, it doesn't let this hook swing free. I want it to swing free. If a fish hits it, I want this hook to almost whiplash, you know, and hopefully, hopefully we get a hook in him if he doesn't eat the, the entire bait. But what I use to put it on there is the back of a earring, the plastic clips that you get. You can get them online for, you can get a thousand of them for like five bucks. And what that does is it lets this hook swing free and it will not, the earring clip is smaller on that end, so it does not let it go over uh, the hook there. It just lets it swing free. And I think it, I think it catches a lot more of them. You know, here's, here's a bunch of them there. And that's just a few that I carry in the boat. I literally have a big bag in the truck, but yeah, for like burning a spinner bait, or even if, you know, if you're a guy that uses a trailer hook in the spring on a spinner bait, it just lets that hook swing free and I think it's gonna get you a little better hookup ratio.